Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 11 and compare it against the iPhone XS and see which particular phone is a better one for you. Now this is very interesting because both these phones are still on iOS 18, they're both going to be getting software support probably for the same amount of time. So I will definitely tell you there's not one that's like perfect between both of these, but there's definitely going to be some that might be better for you and we'll talk about that throughout this whole entire video. If you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get that from there, and you can also support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these particular devices, the iPhone XS that came out back in 2018 on the front of this particular phone has a 5.8 inch Super Retina OLED display. And it's a good display, it's not anything super crazy. We've seen panels like this before. It has the notch up top, you know, you have a 60 hertz panel, but it was a good panel nonetheless back when it first came out. But it's definitely aged a little bit more interestingly. And, you know, a phone like this, Maybe it doesn't look like the most current phone of all time, but it's still like a good looking phone. And I still think like if you're going to go ahead and buy a phone, this thing doesn't look ugly. Like it's a pretty good looking device without a doubt. The iPhone 11, on the other hand, this one has a 6.1 inch Retina IPS panel. So it's an IPS display. It's not an OLED display. It's also like 750p. That's the resolution of it. So it's definitely not like the highest resolution of all time. So definitely a low resolution panel, bigger panel, and it's an IPS panel. It definitely is not the best of both worlds. This panel is definitely showing its age. The viewing angles aren't that great. The panel doesn't really get that bright either, but it was a good panel. I mean, this phone came out in 2019, so it's like five years ago. We kind of get the idea of this particular device, but beyond that, it's one of those phones that I look at and I'm really not the biggest fan of when it comes down to this particular, like the exterior. Bigger bezels on this particular phone too. The rest of the sides, you can see we have this like reflective material on the iPhone XS, which, you know, looks good. It's not bad. The iPhone 11 has the standard type of material, which is probably more in line with the current iPhone generation, which is kind of interesting. But I do miss the reflective size that we had on the iPhone XS and the 11 Pros. The top, not much going on. On the bottom, lightning ports right here, which are still very good. On the back side, you're getting dual camera setups here. So you're getting a wide and ultra wide camera on the iPhone 11, wide and telephoto lens on the iPhone XS. We'll talk about those a little bit later in the video. Standard glass backs, my XS has a skin. Uh, wireless charging and IP certification. There's definitely a lot of overlap here. You know, there's a lot of similarity. And I don't know if there's one phone that I would, you know, easily kind of take in terms of the exterior, but definitely the iPhone XS has a better panel, has a better display, pretty much has everything better going on for it, at least on the outside. The iPhone 11 just happens to be a bigger phone that some people may prefer, but I think the XS is definitely the better one here in my personal opinion. So from that side, that kind of covers it up here as well. Now from the software side, both these phones are still supported with software like I mentioned before. I'm not really too sure how much longer either one of these phones are going to last. I would probably say that the iPhone XS may end up lasting like another year, another two years, probably not another two years. It's probably going to get you know iOS 18 and it's going to get security updates on iOS 18 after. So maybe like two years with security updates, but it's not going to be getting iOS 19, I don't think. The iPhone 11, I mean it could end up getting iOS 19, I also don't think it might get it. I think it's probably going to get stuck on iOS you know, 18 as well. But again, it's so soon. It just got iOS 18. So we really have no idea even kind of how to check this one out. But we're going to go ahead and see what happens. I'm kind of curious to see what ends up happening here too. But from that side, that kind of covers it up from the software side. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone 11 has that Apple A13 bonnet chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM. With the iPhone XS has that Apple A12 bonnet chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM as well. So let's go see which one's a faster phone between both. And the other big thing to keep in mind here too is that they're both on iOS 18, which is actually pretty crazy. So let's get into it. iPhone 11 is here, tennis is here. Phone calls three, two, one. Okay, kind of the same thing. Let's go and do phone uh, music three, two, one. Okay, iPhone 11, the faster one. App Store three, two, one. And the iPhone 11 slightly faster. Scrolling through here, let's see if there's any big differences, which again, I don't really think there's going to be, but it's still worth a shot. It's about the same thing, hopping out of here. Let's go and try something like photos, three, two, one. Okay, slightly slower, camera, three, two, one. And about the same thing too, this one has that like option that will allow you to do that. It's going into some other applications. We can try some other ones. Let's go and try something like Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And they both have game mode, which is interesting. So let's go and see how it kind of holds up with that. And both are on loading. 
and the iPhone 11 did kind of load this one up a little bit faster as far as I can tell than the iPhone XS. So that's kind of another interesting thing kind of going on here too, and the iPhone 11 did load it up overall faster than the iPhone XS there. Let's go and get into some actual gameplay here. Let's see what's kind of going on. And I don't really think it's going to be a big massive difference, but still kind of interesting to kind of check out, and you can kind of see what's going on here. Going out of both of these, let's go and get into some other ones. Let's do Netflix, 3, 2, 1. And iPhone 11, I think, was a faster one. Snake vs. Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 11 was the faster one here. iPhone 10 is a little bit slower here as well. You can kind of see what's going on. Lots of glitches on the 10s, but the iPhone 11 also had tons of glitches there too. Hopping out of these two, let's go and try Thank You, 3, 2, 1. And, I mean, here, I mean, this is another perfect example of the iPhone XS being much, much slower than something like the iPhone 11. Hopping out of these two, we can try some other apps. We can try Stack, 3, 2, 1. And again, I think the iPhone 11 is the faster one. So we're kind of seeing a trend. The iPhone 11 is probably going to be the faster one every single time, more so than the iPhone XS. I think the XS is still a very good phone nonetheless. I think the iPhone 11 is probably the faster one here for sure, and that's going to be the faster one almost every single time than the iPhone XS without a doubt. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. Now from the camera side of things, both of them, like I mentioned before, have both of them, like I mentioned before, have dual camera setups, which is really, really nice. I love having dual cameras and it's definitely a really nice feature to have, but they're slightly different. The iPhone XS is a wide and telephoto lens. The iPhone 11 is a wide and ultra wide camera. So this in and of itself is a very interesting thing because the iPhone 11, I think, is probably the better camera here than the iPhone XS. Even though the XS can zoom in more, the iPhone 11 can zoom out more, which I think is probably more important for a majority of people. So something like the iPhone XS, this type of camera, can still handle its own. You know, you have 10x zoom here, which is still very nice. You can zoom out 1x, which is very, very nice as well. You have a really good camera, you have still a really good capability, and I really don't have too many things to complain about with the iPhone XS camera. Like this thing is still a very solid camera when it kind of comes down to it. Now with the iPhone 11, I think this is probably the better one when it comes down to it in almost every single way. This thing's giving you 4K 60 on the front and the back, the iPhone XS giving you 4K 60 on the back, but 1080p at 60 on the front. And this type of lens you can kind of see and you can get an idea of how good of a camera this thing is for sure. Let me even open up the camera, I was like trying to find it. This type of camera, like I mentioned, 0.5x zoom, you know, 5x zoom on the inside. It doesn't zoom out in as much, but it's still probably the better camera when it comes down to it. And this is the one that I look at as probably being the more significantly better camera for the average person than something like the iPhone XS. So overall, what I'll definitely tell you is I like both these phones a lot, but I do think if I'm going to pick up one, if you want a longer lasting phone, the iPhone 11 is probably the better one. I think this type of phone is probably going to be giving you the better experience, and this is the one that I look at as probably being the better phone here, you know, over the two. But the iPhone XS build quality-wise definitely is a better build phone. This thing is going to be giving you the better build, it's going to be giving you better screen, better build quality in general, and beyond that, that's kind of it. I think the iPhone 11 is a better phone in all the other ways, but the iPhone XS is kind of better in those particular areas. So, from that side, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.